This yeast and mushroom beta-glucan test kit, KYBGL, allows for the specific measurement and analysis of 1,3,1,6 beta-glucan and 1,4,1,6 alpha-glucan in mushroom and mycelial products, yeast and fungal preparations. The procedure readily allows the measurement of beta-glucan in mushroom products, which are highly contaminated with alpha-glucans, such as cereal starches. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the kit with the mushroom sample and the kit control. The kit contains sufficient reagents for 100 assays and is supplied with a detailed data booklet. This assay measures 1,3,1,6 beta-glucan plus 1,3 beta-glucan as well as 1,4,1,6 alpha-glucan starch. Yeast and mushroom samples do not contain 1,3,1,4 beta-glucan unless this is added from a cereal source. Mycelial products are generally produced by growing fungal mycelium on grain such as rice, wheat or sorghum. These grains contain less than 1% weight per weight beta-glucan, as determined using the KYBGL method. The principle of the enzymatic reaction involved in the measurement of yeast and mushroom beta-glucans is shown in this figure. 1,3,1,6 beta-D-glucans, 1,3 beta-D-glucans and alpha-glucans are solubilized in ice-cold 12 molar sulfuric acid and then hydrolyzed to near completion in 2 molar sulfuric acid at approximately 100 degrees Celsius. Remaining glucan fragments are then quantitatively hydrolyzed to glucose using a mixture of highly purified exo 13 beta glucanase and beta glucosidase. D glucose is quantitatively measured with glucose oxidase peroxidase GoPod reagent. The amount of D-glucose measured is stoichiometric with the amount of total glucan in the sample. Separately, alpha-glucans and sucrose are specifically hydrolyzed to D-glucose plus D-fructose using myeloglucosidase plus invertase. D-glucose from this reaction is also quantitatively measured with glucose oxidase peroxidase GoPod reagent. The amount of D-glucose measured in this reaction is stoichiometric with the amount of alpha-glucan in the sample. Most samples do not contain sucrose. Beta-glucan is then determined by the difference. Prior to sample analysis, prepare the required additional reagents as described in the kit data booklet. Subsequently, once all of the additional reagents have been made, the kit components should be prepared and once prepared, they are ready for use in the assay procedure. Use the contents of bottles 2, 5 and 6 as supplied. Add 9 ml of 200 ml sodium acetate buffer, pH 4.5, to bottle 1. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly by swirling and inversion. Divide into appropriately sized aliquots and store in polypropylene tubes below minus 10 degrees Celsius. Dilute the contents of bottle 3 GoPod reagent buffer to 1 litre with distilled water. This is solution 1. This should be used immediately. Dissolve the contents of bottle 4 GoPod reagent enzymes in approximately 20 ml of solution 1. Quantitatively transfer this to the graduated cylinder containing the rest of solution 1. Transfer this solution to a 1 litre Duran bottle. This is the glucose determination GoPod reagent, which is stable for approximately 3 months at 2 to 5 degrees Celsius. 
Cover this bottle with aluminium foil to protect from light. For longer term storage, divide into approximately 250 milliliter aliquots and store below minus 10 degrees Celsius. This is stable for greater than 12 months below minus 10 degrees Celsius and should not undergo more than one freeze thaw cycle. Accurately weigh approximately 90 mg of milled sample to a 20 by 125 mm Fisher brand culture tube and record the weight. Tap the tube to ensure that all of the sample falls to the bottom of the tube. In this demonstration, we are using a mushroom sample in duplicate and the provided kit control in duplicate for total glucan analysis. Add 2 milliliters of ice cold 12 molar sulfuric acid to each tube. And stir them vigorously on a vortex mixer. Place the tubes in a nice water bath for 2 hours. Over this period of time, Vigorously stir the tube contents for 10 to 15 seconds several times on a vortex mixer to ensure complete dissolution of the beta-glucan. After two hours, add four milliliters of water to each tube. Cap the tubes and vigorously stir the contents on a vortex mixer for 10 seconds. Then add a further 6 milliliters of distilled water. Cap the tubes and stir the contents for a further 10 seconds. Manipulate the contents to the bottom of the tube as shown on the vortex mixer. Loosen the caps on the tubes and place them in a boiling water bath. After five minutes, tighten the caps and continue the incubation for two hours. This will hydrolyze the total glucan to near completion. After two hours, cool the tubes to room temperature and carefully loosen the caps. Quantitatively transfer the contents of each tube to a 100 milliliter volumetric flask using a wash bottle containing 200 millimolar sodium acetate buffer pH 4.5. Add 6 milliliters of 8 molar sodium hydroxide solution to the volumetric flask and adjust to volume with a 200 millimolar sodium acetate buffer pH 4.5. Mix the contents thoroughly. Repeat this procedure for all samples and controls. Transfer an aliquot of each sample to labelled microfuge tubes. Centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 5 minutes. Transfer 0.1 milliliter aliquots in duplicate of the centrifuged extract to the bottom of 16 by 100 millimeter glass test tubes. A 0.1 milliliter of the prepared bottle 1 mixture of exo 13 beta gluconase plus beta glucosidase to the bottom of each tube to hydrolyze any remaining glucan fragments to glucose. Mix the tube contents on a vortex mixer.
and incubate at 40 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. During the incubation period, prepare the reagent blank solutions by adding 0.2 milliliters of 200 millimolar sodium acetate buffer, pH 4.5 to tubes in duplicate. Prepare the D-glucose standards by adding 0.1 milliliter of 200 millimolar sodium acetate buffer, pH 4.5, plus 0.1 milliliter of D-glucose standard solution, bottle 5, to tubes in quadruplicate. After the 60 minute incubation period, remove the tubes from the water bath. and add 3 milliliters of GoPod reagent to all tubes. And incubate at 40 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Measure the absorbance of all solutions at 510 nanometers against the reagent blank. Use the absorbances to calculate the total glucan content of the samples. Accurately weigh approximately 100 mg of milled sample to a 20 by 125 mm Fisher brand culture tube and record the weight. Tap the tube to ensure that all of the sample falls to the bottom of the tube. In this demonstration, we are using the same mushroom sample in duplicate and the provided kit control in duplicate for alpha glucan analysis. Add a magnetic stirrer bar 5 by 15 millimeters and transfer it to an ice water bath and add 2 milliliters of 1.7 molar sodium hydroxide to each tube and suspend the pellets and dissolve the phytoglycogen and starch by stirring for approximately 20 minutes in an ice water bath over a magnetic stirrer. After 20 minutes, remove the caps and add 8 milliliters of 1.2 molar sodium acetate buffer, pH 3.8, to each tube with stirring. Immediately add 0.2 milliliters of bottle 2 amyloglucosidase plus invertase. Mix the tubes thoroughly. Incubate the tubes at 40 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes with intermittent mixing on a vortex mixer. After 30 minutes, remove the tubes from the water bath For samples containing greater than 10% alpha glucan content, quantitatively transfer the contents of the tube to a 100 milliliter volumetric flask and adjust to volume with distilled water. and mix thoroughly. Transfer an aliquot of the solution to labelled microfuse tubes.
for samples containing less than 10% alpha glucan content, no dilution is required. Therefore, transfer an aliquot of the samples to labelled microfuge tubes and centrifuge all tubes at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes. Transfer 0.1 ml aliquots in duplicate of the centrifuged extract to the bottom of 16 by 100 mm glass test tubes. Prepare the D-glucose standards for glucose determination by adding 0.1 ml of D-glucose standard solution bottle 5 to tubes in quadruplicate. Prepare the reagent blank solutions by adding 0.2 ml of 200 millimolar sodium acetate buffer pH 4.5 to tubes in duplicate. Add 0.1 ml of 200 ml sodium acetate buffer to standard tubes and all sample tubes. Add 3 ml of GoPod reagent to all tubes. and incubate at 40 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Measure the absorbance of all solutions at 510 nanometers against the reagent blank. Use the absorbances to calculate the content of alpha-glucan in the sample. The absorbance readings of the sample and the blank reactions are used to calculate the total glucan and alpha-glucan contents of the samples. Beta-glucan is calculated as total glucan minus alpha-glucan. When performing this test on the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer, the absorbance mode feature must be used. The results will be printed via the onboard printer or the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see our Megaquant Wave video for further details. In absorbance mode, the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples. Therefore, the calculation of total glucan, alpha glucan, and subsequently beta glucan content can be performed manually as described in the calculation section of the kit booklet. Megazyme has also developed specific Excel based Megacalc applications for each Megazyme kit to allow quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analysed using the MegaCalc application specific to this beta-glucan assay kit, which is available to download free of charge from the Megazyme website. The MegaCalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the MegaCalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the D-glucose standards. For each sample, input the sample identifier. For each sample, input the absorbance values recorded for total glucan content. For each sample, input the absorbance values recorded for alpha glucan content. Alter the sample volume if a volume other than the default 0.1 ml is used. Input the sample weight used. Alter the extract volume if a volume other than the default 100 ml has been used for total glucan content or if a volume other than the default 10.3 ml for alpha glucan content has been used. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of beta glucan in the sample is automatically calculated and given as percent weight per weight on an as-is basis in the original sample. For further information, the measurement of beta-glucan in mushroom and mycelial products is discussed in detail in a paper by McCleary and Draga.